Today I get to talk with Carmen Williams and she's just got an amazing story. I'm so glad to be able to sit down with her. Hi Carmen, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you for having me, I appreciate yeah. this. I'm so glad you're here. Carmen actually came on the show a long time ago and came uh, to Akron Buzz. So for those of you who've been watching us for a long time, Pre Good Morning Akron, when we did Akron Buzz, Carmen was on the show then, and so I'm so glad to have you back on. Thank you. It's yeah. a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. So so glad to have you. Um, so I just want to dive right into your story. Okay. Um, go ahead and tell me. Well, first of all, let's tell our viewers just a little bit about you, okay. and um, who who is Carmen Williams? Oh my. God. <laughs> <laughs> when people say who is Carmen, I'm like, oh my god. Do Such I talk a big about the question. Right. Such I'm a like, big question. Do I talk about the grandkids? Do I talk about me? Do yeah. I talk let's, about... Let's start with your family. Okay. Tell us just a little bit about your family. Uh, well, I have a granddaughter. Uh, she is 12 years old. She's spoiled. And I have a grandson who's nine who's, who's spoiled. Um, I <laughs> They're also, supposed to be. Uh, yeah, they are. Um, and they're at the house right now in the bed. So I, I just I absolutely love them. They are my life. They are Aww. my life. And I have one daughter... Um, her name is Daisha, but I call her Butterfly. So Aww. she is my butterfly. And so Sweet. that's my life. That's my life. Um, that's your life. I love that. I am, did you grow up here in the area? I did. I grew up here and went to Kenmore, graduated from that. Kenmore, went to Akron University. Okay. And got my degree in social work and a minor in women's study. And, 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 and that's amazing. And, and now you're yeah. working as a school counselor. Yeah. And, yes. um, and in grad school, working on my doctorates as well. So. That's amazing. I know. So sharing, sharing the love with uh, with kids. What age do you work with? Oh, my God. I work with um, middle school, wait, kindergarten, um, middle school, and high school. So oh I'm in gosh. all three schools. That is yeah. that is a wide range. It is. It I'm is. sure it stretches your brain a lot. It so. does. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And you get to laugh every mm. single day. So I absolutely love my job. It, I had to get to here. At first, I was doing, you know, social work and, mm-hmm. you know, and um, and it just was and then it was in the hospital settings and it was just too much, you know. Yeah, and sure. so I was like, I want to laugh. And how can I really give back to the community? Kids. OK. Start with kids, you know, I love because that. that is our future. So that's, that's really beautiful. My mom yeah. actually was a guidance counselor in all of those areas as well. And so. Yeah. We have that in our family too. So, yeah. but I want to dive into your story. Okay. Um, you came on the show because you have been through it this past year. Oh, two you years. You have been two through years. it two years over yeah. the past couple years. Yeah. You have had strokes. I have had two strokes. Two strokes and a, heart a mini attack, heart attack. A mini heart attack. Yeah. Yes. So, share with us about that story, oh. and then I know you wanted to share like what God has taught you through that. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to take really... us back. Take us back a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, woo! <laughs> I, <laughs> I've been praying about this all night. I'm like, oh, okay, Lord, help me get through the interview. Help me do this. Um, it was just stress, um, Sarah. I believe when. Uh, you don't do what God is calling you to do and telling you what to do. Mm-hmm. There's some there's some repercussions in behind that. When God tells you to do a certain thing, you have to do that thing regardless of what how anybody else feels, regardless if it's going to offend someone else. You have mm. to do what God is because he said, I know the plans that I have for you. Yeah. So when you go against that, mm-hmm. there's some repercussions. And I just believe that I fought so hard you know, trying to make everyone else happy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Everybody. And I, I know we all have been there before yeah. trying to make everybody else happy, mm-hmm. trying to please everybody else, trying to fit in places and situations where, you know, you're not supposed to be. And when you do that, there's repercussions. There's stress in behind that. There's depression. I got I was so depressed trying to do everything for everybody else that I just forgot about me. Mm. I just really forgot about me. And then one day I was in the hospital to the last stroke and the doctor, my doctor looked at me and she said, do you want to live? Wow. And I was like, what, what kind of question, question is that? Is that right? you know, I'm, in this, I'm in the emergency room. What do you, I mean, what do you mean? She's like, do you want to live? This is your, your third time being in, in the hospital. And I was like, I do. She said, then whatever it is, you have to let it go. Oh my gosh. And I was like, and I just started crying because Mm. I knew the things that I needed to let go. I just didn't want to let go. 
And I was just like, no, I got to hold on. And that was from past trauma and growing up and having abandonment issues, Mm -hmm. you know, and just, uh, and I, but I had to face that. Right. I had to face that. And I was so scared to face it. I just didn't want to. I just didn't want to be like, just didn't, the truth was, you've been abandoned. Mm-hmm. You've been neglected. You've been used. You have to face it. You do. And when you don't, like you just said, it yeah. can manifest in your body. It in manifests various it. things. I mean, there's there's a really prominent book out there and there's, you know, people that agree with all of it and don't agree, but it's called The Body Keeps the Score. Yes. And regardless of if you agree with everything in the book, it's true that your mm-hmm. body keeps the score of like the stress you put mm-hmm. on it and um, you know how, how you feel depending up upon mm-hmm. what you take in and mm-hmm. what kind of uh, things you've gone through and if you've dealt with them. And yeah. so you realized you had to deal with them. I had to deal with them. I had to face it and yeah. say, Okay, that is true, but it doesn't define who I am. Yeah. It happened to me, but it's not who I am. Right. And that was, that's a, uh, something that you have to really come to the, you know, like, ah, right. That is not who I am. Right. I, that's what I've been through, mm-hmm. but that's not who I am. And once I faced that, I was laying in the hospital bed and I was alone. I was alone. Okay. And I was like, okay, God, I'm alone. <laughs> right. Nobody's just at me, home. Just me and you just right me now. me and you. I'm at right. home. I mean, mm-hmm. everybody else is home. I'm, I'm here with you. Mm-hmm. Okay, speak to me. And I said, Lord, speak to me. And when he spoke to me I, and he said, listen, you have to stop shrinking who you are. Mm. Just be you. Because you can shrink who you are and people still not going to be happy. You can give people your all and they still not going to be happy. So God was like, you have to deal with that. Who do you really desire to be? Who do you really want to be? Who you really, you saying you want to be the best version of you. How can you be the best version of you when you in situations that is not helping you become the best version of you? So how can you do that? You got to so, say, yeah, what was you your have process to say. There? No. Okay. <laughs> I know. And that's you're, such you're, a hard thing for hard. people pleasers. I know you, you brought know? that up at the beginning. It's like, if you're a people pleaser and you feel like you need to do everything right for people, that mm-hmm. is a really hard thing to mm-hmm. learn to say no. So how did you start learning to say no, Carmen? I just, I just woke up one day and said no. <laughs> I and I, and, and you. you know what? I made a lot of people mad. Mm-hmm. I, I made a lot of people uh, disappointed because the no sets up boundaries. Right. When you set boundaries up, people not used to that because you didn't have boundaries. <laughs> right. You didn't have that before. I didn't have it before. And so mm-hmm. now they're like, well, who are you? What, what is this? You're telling me no. You know, you're telling me no. Right. You're acting funny. No, I'm not. I need to set up healthy boundaries for me because yeah. I don't want to have a stroke again. I don't want to have a, a heart attack again. God said, do you want to live? Right. And I said, yeah, I want to live. Yeah. And so you had to take steps. I had to take back my stuff. Yes, you did. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> saying no was yeah. one part of it. Yep. And taking back my stuff. And what, and what does stuff, that entail? What is your my stuff? My stuff was my joy. It was mm. my smile. It was my creativity. It was my boundaries. It was my my true identical self. Who am I? It was my stuff. Because you, you will lose who you are trying to be everything for somebody right. else. And you can't do that. Yeah. You got to figure out who you want to be. And you got to be okay with being that person. And being in that space of this is me. So now I'm single and I'm like, and the singleness was a struggle okay. because that, it was so heavy. It took me into a depression because I have never been single oh, my whole wow. life. Okay. I've never been single. And I'm like, how am I supposed to be single? And people are like, live your life, be single. I'm like, <laughs> well, how do you do that? And you right, never done that. Right. And so I had to look in the mirror and say, hello, single, Carmen Williams. Okay, and what are we about to do with this singleness? Mm, okay. What are we going to do? So I had to introduce myself to this single person. Right. And so now I just embrace her now. I love that. So after realizing you were giving everything to everyone yeah. else, having two strokes and a mini heart attack, coming out of that, um, you now are just recognizing that you need to be you. I yes. just need to be me. Yeah. And whoever doesn't like it, there's somebody else that will. Right. They will like That's it. That's true. Yeah. 
God said, for I know the plans that I have for you. Mm-hmm. So if you ask God for a specific thing, I was in that hospital bed and God said, you asked me for something. What happened is not on me, it's on you because you wasn't patient enough and your faith wasn't, you know, big enough to believe that I can give that to you. He reminded me of the things that I asked him for. Mm. So you don't have to shrink who you are for somebody to be happy. You just need to stand on what you asked him for and believe it's coming. Yeah, that's really good. And when you don't do that, here come the stress. Here come the anxiety. Here come the depression. Ugh. Here come your, you yeah. lost your whole identity. Believe in what you pray for. Right. And I right. stand on that. That's really beautiful. And I think we all, I mean, especially around this time of year. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think we all struggle with, mm-hmm. you know, depression, anxiety, mm-hmm. like those things come up. Um, see, and people have seasonal depression when it gets cold and the sun goes away. And I think um, it helps if we can get outside of ourselves a little bit and say, like, no, I'm going to I'm going to yeah. be OK with who I am. Yeah. And yeah. so that's really beautiful. So you have a book too, Carmen. I do. Let's share a little bit about your book. Oh my God. It's What's called the title? Single But Not Dumb. Single But Not Dumb. Single I love it. Single But Not Dumb. <laughs> so you're, you're, <laughs> you're showing people that this is okay. This is it's okay to be in this okay season. It's okay to yeah. be in this season exactly. to be single. The Bible says there is a blessing to be single. It's a blessing to be single. So while you're single, what is it that you truly need to do? Mm-hmm. What is it that you truly need to work on? Yeah. Do that. Sir, I have figured out how to put floor in in my house. I didn't lay floor down. <laughs> I didn't paint it. I didn't put a wallpaper. I didn't put up ceiling fans. What can you do while you're single? I'm in grad school. I'm graduating. That's amazing. You know, and this is my fifth book I'm writing. So what can you do in your singleness? Instead of worrying about I'm single. Mm. I don't have someone. Have you? Yeah. Recognize you and have you. You have you. That's awesome. Yeah, you have you. Appreciate you. Learn how to appreciate you and do things for you. I went, um, I'm, I've been going out on dates by myself and it's been cool. I've been sitting there eating dinner all by myself, having coffee, having tea, having a glass of wine yes. by myself, ordering my favorite meal. And you know what? And it feels good because if you cannot love you, you can't give love to somebody exactly. else. So you got to figure out how to love you and mm-hmm. what you truly need before you ask somebody else to do it. Exactly. And I learned in this singleness, you have to stop asking people to do things that you know that they're not capable of doing. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Stop putting the expectations on people that you know you can't. They can't handle that. They can't do that. That's when they're going to fail you. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yes. that's a huge lesson I, I know that I've learned in my past was, you know, I can't put expectations on anyone but myself. You yeah. know, I can give myself expectations, mm-hmm. maybe a little bit on my children, yeah. Um, yeah. reasonable ones, right? Yeah. But other than that, we can't put them on other people. You and when can. we do that, we're usually let down. Exactly. Because we're putting those expectations on yeah. others. So, And don't give them the task mm-hmm. and the assignment that you know is too heavy for them. Right. So I say to people that, it's single that want to be married. What is it that you want in your marriage? Remember that. Don't just go and date. I don't, I'm not somebody's girlfriend or somebody's <laughs> side chick. I'm somebody's wife. There future you go. wife. Right. So what is it that you want? So mm-hmm. what is it that you want in that husband and that wife? You seek those qualities. Right. Because those character qualities. Yeah, those, yeah. Because if you want somebody to be a family man, Mm -hmm. if you want somebody to be an entrepreneur, if you want somebody to be a caretaker, if you want somebody to be anchored in the Lord, don't put that on somebody that you know won't do that. Just be cool with them. Be friends with them. I love that. I love that. I love how (laughs) you're just bringing joy to this era for yourself. Yeah. Um, And Gosh, I'm so thankful that you're okay. Yeah. And that yeah. God has turned around this really hard season for you going through two strokes and a heart attack to now, hey, I'm going to bring joy to people um, 
yeah. through the season that I'm going through. Yeah. And so share the title of your book again, Carmen. It's called Single But Not Done. And how can people find it? They're going to find it. Well, you know what? It's almost done. I got two more chapters <gasps> Oh, my go. goodness. Okay, I got two so it's more not chapters. quite out. It's not quite out okay. yet, but it's coming. It will be on Amazon, and then you can order it for me. Yeah, I love that. order it for me. But I have two more chapters that has been wrecking my brain, but I'm... I'm Determined to You're get getting it done. them out, and you have other books, so people I can do. find those I on. Do. Where can they they're find on those? Amazon as well? They in Barnes and Nobles as well. All right, great. Yeah. At Carmen Williams, yes. yes. So they can find you by looking that up. Just look up Carmen Williams, and Wonderful. my books will come up. All right, yeah. great. And how can they get in touch with you if they resonate with your story? Maybe they're going through a, yeah. uh, a season of singleness, and they're watching right now, and they just want to connect with you. How could someone connect with they you? They can always call me at three three zero six two two zero zero nine two. Or you can always email me, carmenwilliams0708 at gmail.com. All right, great. Yeah, well, thank, thank you so you. much for being thank on so today. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for sharing your joy um, post a difficult time. And I think that's really important because a lot of people, if you're going through a difficult time right now, speak directly to our audience. Like You, you can know that you don't have to stay there. No. And Carmen is a shining light of yeah. that so we want to just encourage you guys in that yeah. make sure you stay tuned we've got more great stuff coming up here this morning on good morning akron